Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, this time against Samuel from my Discord server. So if you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Discord, Twitter, or Facebook. Links are always are in the description below. So we actually had a battle previous to this one, and we were battling in the Inu tier. I ended up 5 0 him, and he said he wanted a rematch in a, like a mixed OU kind of setting. Um, <laughs> so I, I decided I was just going to fuck around and bring some crazy shit. And uh, Samuel, though, holy shit, this man brought the power. So this man's team is literally six threats. <laughs> He's got the Tapu Koko, which I literally have nothing for on my team. Um, even Venusaur takes a nasty hit uh, in the electric terrain. Mew, um, which could definitely be a threat because Mew learns almost every move in the game. Um, also, the utility bulky Mew set is really annoying for this team. Um, he has a Charizard, which I was assuming was a Mega. I don't know if it's an X or Y. <laughs> um, he also has the Kartana, which is a major threat because it has a massive, like, 180-something base attack, which is nuts, um, and solid speed. He also has the Pinsir, which I was assuming could also be a Mega, or the Scarf Moxie set, which is yet another threat. And finally, the Snorlax, or not Snorlax, Slowbro. Um, which is just a bulky piece of shit. <laughs> um, so looking at my team, my team is fucking wild, guys. So I, I decided to bring a Sun team, which honestly bit me in the ass here because he has that Charizard. Um, so we're rocking the fucking Volbeat. <laughs> I've never used Volbeat before in my life, but it does get Prankster. So it does have some shenanigans that it can do. We have the Togedemaru, the Krikatoon, which uh, I was rocking a crazy uh, Salic Berry Swords Dance set. Unfortunately, Krikatoon did not get to do anything this game. <laughs> I was really hoping it would at least get one kill, but it's whatever. We also have the Torkoal, the <laughs> Z-Celebrate Venusaur, which uh, is pretty wild. I think I've used it maybe one time. I really wanted to do something with that um, in the sun, because it does get chlorophyll. And finally, we have the Bruxish, so <laughs> my team is fucking heat, and uh, my opponent's team is literally nothing but threats, so <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that I did as well as I did in this battle. Like. On, on paper, it looks like I'm just going to get straight up 6-0 swept. <laughs> but um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. So the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with Henry the Volbeat dancing on the battlefield. And my opponent is going to lead off with Tapu Koko. As I said before, I literally cannot touch this thing. This thing is a menace for my team. <laughs> so he's going to set up the electric terrain, it's going to boost his electric attacks by 50%, which makes this thing a damn nightmare, even for my Venusaur, so I'm just going to go for the sunny day here, obviously because he's an electric type I can't go for the, the uh, thunder wave to paralyze him, so he's going to go straight for the T-Bolt here, the disrespect, <laughs> he didn't even volt switch or anything, he's just going to go straight for the damage, and uh, I actually live that on fucking 33 HP, but don't worry guys, that is not the end of Henry. <laughs> Henry actually puts in the finest work in this battle, as we'll see. But uh, I'm going to bring out Venusaur here, and he goes for Volt Switch, and as you can see, that Volt Switch does a shit ton of damage. And uh, he is Life Orb here, so we're going to have to do something about this Tapu Koko. We're going to have to play around it somehow. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to do that just yet, but um, I think we're just going to have to wear it down with its own Life Orb and uh, any damage, any chip damage we can get off. Um, so anyway, he's going to bring out his Charizard here, and I kind of figured he would probably be a Charizard X and try to go for the Dragon Dance here, so I'm going to predict that. Thank God he wasn't a Charizard Y, and uh, I'm going to bring out Volbeat once again here on the predicted Dragon Dance, and that is exactly what he goes for. Thank God. <laughs> so Volbeat is back here, and uh, I'm going to go for the Encore here. That way... It's going to bide me a couple turns here as he's going to be stuck going for the Dragon Dance, but honestly, it's still it's still definitely an issue because we're staring down a fucking Charizard who is now at like plus two attack and speed. So this thing is still very much a threat, even though it can't attack me now. Once the Encore ends, <laughs> this thing is a fucking menace. <laughs> so I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave here. I basically have to get this thing crippled somehow. <laughs> um, otherwise he would just run a damn train through my team so he's still stuck into the dragon dance and uh, I believe here the electric terrain ends and I just go for the u-turn here I think I actually crit him um, as he goes for yet another fucking dragon dance <laughs> so he's at what like plus four attack plus four speed this shit is fucking wild <laughs> so I go for the u-turn here I actually crit him and the u-turn actually does a decent amount of damage here <laughs> I was actually a little bit surprised even with the crit it did so much damage I do not have any attack investment whatsoever 
and it was a resisted hit. So now I'm going to bring out Togedemaru the God. His Encore is going to end here, so I'm going to just go for the Fake Out here, try to get as much chip damage off as I possibly can. Obviously, he's going to flinch this turn, and uh, he goes for the Flare Blitz here, which I was really, really hoping he would go for, and then I was crossing my fingers that he would not burn me, and thank God Arceus above, he does not burn me. I live with my Sturdy, and he activates my fucking weakness policy. That's right, guys. I had a trick up my sleeve. So he's going to take a buttload of recoil from the Flare Blitz here. I'm going to go for the Zing Zap at plus two. It fucking, ugh, it barely misses out on the KO. He said he lived on two HP. That is fucking bullshit. But I actually luck out there. He gets fully paralyzed. I'm able to go for the Flail here. And that is going to kill off the Mega Charizard X. So I don't have to worry about this damn thing. Plus, it actually makes Venusaur's job a lot easier. <laughs> so he's gonna go out into the pincer. I was like, oh crap, he's probably got the quick attack, but he actually doesn't. And uh, I'm able to go for a flail and fucking Togedemaru claims live number two. <laughs> so Togedemaru is just showing its ass right now. And uh, unfortunately he's gonna bring out Kartana. He does outspeed me here and he's gonna go for the leaf blade that is going to unfortunately take out Togedemaru. But Togedemaru did a fantastic job taking out two of my man's mons. <laughs> So here he's going to get a beast boost, obviously this thing is now a mega threat. I'm going to bring out Sheldon, and uh, that's going to set up the sun. Once again, I'm trying to set up for Venusaur to sweep, <laughs> um, if at all possible. Now obviously here my opponent does not want to take a times 4 effective fire attack from Sheldon here, so he's actually going to swap out into Mew. I predicted the switch, I went straight for the Stealth Rocks here. Now, I was a little worried because I'm not sure what type of Mew this is going to be. I don't know if it's like one of those offensive ones, if it's a Calm Mind set, if it's a utility one with like Will-O-Wisp. No telling. Mew literally learns like almost every fucking attack in the game. So, I'm actually going to swap. I actually took a risk there. <laughs> I'm going to bring back out Henry and it works out in my favor because he goes for the Calm Mind. That means I'm going to be able to go for the Encore once again. My opponent did not learn his lesson last time. And uh, so I'm going to Encore him into the Calm Mind, which still kind of sucks for me because he's getting all these boosts basically for free, <laughs> but it does buy me a couple turns here. So much like with the Charizard, I am going to Encore, then go for the T-Bolt or T-Wave. Sorry, not T-Bolt. Um, so obviously because Mew has the synchronized ability, it's also going to paralyze me, but I actually get pretty lucky um, this battle with the Parahax. I actually... I don't even think I get Parahaxed. <laughs> um, so it works out, plus I do have the Prankster ability, so I do have priority. So the speed drop really doesn't matter much for Henry. And uh, here I believe I just go for the U-turn. It is super effective, so it actually does a decent chip uh, of damage to the Mew here, so I go for the U-turn. And uh, once again, Henry putting in the finest to work. I was honestly, I was really impressed with uh, with Volbeat, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go ahead. You turn out into Fabulous, which is my Bruxish. I actually do have the Crunch on this uh, on this fish, so I go for the Strong Jaw Boosted Crunch. Unfortunately, it doesn't kill the Mew, just because Mew has Fabulous 100 across the board bulk. Um, so I actually am able to live this. Like, how many boosts does he even have at this point? I think he's at like plus four special attack and plus four special defense or whatever, but I'm actually able to live that. Bruxish is, Bruxish is a psychic type as well, so it was actually a resisted hit. But uh, yeah, I'm able to live that, kill him off with a second crunch, and uh, he's gonna bring out his Tapu Koko here, which once again, no idea how I'm gonna handle this. <laughs> so I actually do have the Aqua Jet on this Bruxish, but because the sun is up, it's actually not gonna do much damage at all, even though Tapu Koko is frail as hell. So, I'm just going to have to go for the last ditch effort, <laughs> Aqua Jet here, and uh, I actually live my Life Orb recoil, but he is going to go for the T-Bolt here, which honestly kind of worked out in my favor, because now he's going to take Life Orb recoil of his own, so it's kind of good that I lived my own recoil. <laughs> so, luckily for me, his Tapu Koko is under half, which is great. So I'm going to bring out Krikatoon here, my man Mustachio is here. I was really hoping that I was going to be able to live this Volt Switch. I mean, come on, but unfortunately Krikatoon is frail as hell. I was hoping I would be able to get a uh, Swords Dance up with the Salak Berry shenanigans and uh, try to go for like a little mini sweep or something, but unfortunately it was for not, and uh, he's going to Volt Switch out into the Slowbro, 
I was really fucking pissed <laughs> that uh, Cricketoon didn't get at least one kill, but it's whatever. What do you what do you expect? It's a damn Cricketoon. I'm trying to use it in like a fucking OU battle. <laughs> so he brings out Slowbro. Like I said, I'm gonna go back out into the Volbeat here. Things are not looking good for your boy. I'm gonna go for yet another T wave. Thank God I didn't miss. <laughs> and uh, I believe here he actually gets fully paralyzed. <laughs> so I'm getting really lucky with his para hacks. This shit is nuts. But uh, he's gonna get some lefties back. <laughs> Um, these turns are taking way too long because of all these <laughs> active, like, passive effects and stuff. So I'm going to go for yet another sunny day here. Once again, to try to set up for my, my Venusaur in the back. <laughs> so he's going to go for the Scald there. Somehow, I fucking live this. I know it was in the sun, but Volbeat has, like, terrible defenses. <laughs> but um, somehow I live that with 5 HP and he, thankfully, well, he can't burn me because I'm already paralyzed. But anyway, I'm going to just go for the U-turn here. It is super effective once again, it, uh, it does a decent chip <laughs> uh, amount of damage to the Slowbro here. And here I decide it is time to bring out the Z Celebrate Venusaur. So he actually gets fully paralyzed once again, which works out in my favor, because had he predicted that and gone for the Psy Shock, I would have been absolutely, completely fucked. <laughs> so I'm going to go for the Z Celebrate here, which is fucking fantastic, and if you guys don't know, what Z Celebrate does. Basically, it says nothing happened, but it actually gives you a plus one boost to all of your stats. Plus, Venusaur does have the ability uh, Chlorophyll, and because the sun is up, it's going to double my speed. So I effectively have like plus three speed, I think, at this point, and uh, plus one to my defenses, which actually allows me to live this Psy Shock on 29 HP, which is fucking amazing. And, um, I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain here. Unfortunately, it doesn't kill, I don't think. I think he actually barely lives, yeah. Um, so that's really fucking unfortunate, because now that means I have to either bank on the Paralysis or um, just take the hit. And unfortunately, he crits me here, and this is the turn that absolutely lost me the game, because had he not critted me there, I would have lived the Psy Shock, and Venusaur would have been able to clean up the rest of his team because of the one... Uh, plus one boost to my special attack. So that is the turn that unfortunately lost me the game. <laughs> um, but it's okay because I was just fucking around. So I'm gonna go for the U-turn here. It actually kills off the Slowbro. And uh, I think my Mons... I think I have Volbeat, Torkoal... And what is my other Mon? I can't remember my other Mon now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna bring out Torkoal here. Or actually, maybe it's just Volbeat and Torkoal. Yeah, I think, it, I think it actually is just Volbeat and Torkoal. And uh, he's going to bring out the Tapu Koko here. And I definitely did not want Sheldon to take a hit here. So I'm going to actually sack off. Yeah, so it's Volbeat and Torkoal. I'm going to sack off my Volbeat here. And uh, basically, I'm just trying to let him take as much damage from his Life Orb recoil as I possibly can. And I basically now have to pray that Sheldon can take a T-Bolt. <laughs> Um, because after this turn, I believe he kills himself to his own life orb, so we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I'm actually physically defensive instead of specially defensive, so he's going to go for the T-Bolt here. It actually is going to Oko Sheldon, but I believe he goes down as well. And uh, I'm trying to remember, what was his last Mon? Um, fuck. Ugh, can't remember what his last Mon is. Hang on, it'll show it. Uh, oh, his last Mon was Kartana, so... Basically, had I've gotten, had I, had he not critted me with his Slowbro, Venusaur could literally clean up until Kartana because I actually don't have HP Fire. So if Kartana, if Kartana killed my Venusaur, I had Sheldon in the back for the Kartana. So I definitely would have won that battle had he not critted me. But it's Pokemon; it's the game we play. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually really surprised I did as well as I did in that battle. But I was actually really, really salty when he critted me. I was, I was fucking livid. But it's whatever. It's Pokemon. You gotta, you kind of have to expect that kind of shit's gonna happen from time to time. But anyway, it was a fantastic battle. Uh, Samuel will definitely rematch again. And uh, <laughs> who knows? Maybe I'll bring some funny shit next time too. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this battle, leave a like, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links as always are in the description below, as well as my team information will be down there as well if you want to look at the sets I was using. Some of these sets are fucking insane. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here guys, I love you, peace out. Is this the moment where I look you in the eye?
of my broken promise that you'll never see me cry.